we're using our cars to shield the kids going across the crosswalk. So if these people who are not slowing down hit anyone, they're going to hit us. Parents are telling us a busy intersection in front of a Converse Elementary School is becoming a major trouble spot for children. News 4 San Antonio's Jim Lefko is here to show us what's being done to prevent a tragedy from happening. We can't trust her to walk home. It's not her fault. Tabitha Williams, fourth grader, isn't allowed to walk to Masters Elementary School by herself anymore. Her parents don't think it's safe for her to cross busy Wood Lake Parkway. Myself and a few other moms, we've noticed a lot of speeding. The posted speed limit on the parkway is 40 miles an hour. It drops to 25 in the school zone. They're going at least 50. We use this radar gun to track traffic here around the noon hour. Of 100 cars we tested, less than 10% were actually speeding. 44, 37 miles an hour, there's a 34. Still, everyone we talk to agrees a change is needed to keep children safe including a community board member. We're also trying to push through commissioner's court for um, a four-way stop here at least. Right now it's a two-way. Eventually also we want a traffic signal here because it really is warranted in this area. Judson ISD has assigned a police officer in the mornings and tells us in a statement it's to ensure the safety of our students. He's given over 100 speeding citations this year, 15 this week. In the afternoons, there's a staff member available to walk the students across the street safely. Still, parents worry until more safety measures are added at an intersection with little signage on a busy parkway a couple blocks from I-10. One of the girls that's on the cheer team is in our same neighborhood, and she doesn't go to our school because of this issue. Jim Lefko, News 4 San Antonio.